gonna stop her. Oh, wait, wait a minute, shot it now. This. That. Moro World is gonna face Erisan one on one. The Republican can call an indecent proposal match. But if Moro World loses and Erisan wins, then the Moro World has to have sex with this. Why that thing of thing? Vicious with Lord Magma there. Oh, for the lights! All I get on Magma's game. What's he doing here? Oh, what the hell's what the hell's this? Oh, you, what is, what is this? Vicious is accepting the challenge and is excited to face Lord Magma. Well, what the hell's gonna happen on has said for months that this man will make history. No. Wait. Oh my god! Bob! The Kimonian Cyclone! Ooh. Three! And there's your winner. The master of the ring. No, this is a sick man, a sick man, Von Kuhn! Don't do it! Oh my! He put the stray in the back. But oh my god, he enters the mother steel steps! Von Kuhn just ended the one year winning streak at Pride X! As both the Mitchell Lugar contract and the mastering will be on the line and you the fans will decide which of the match will be held. Is it going to be a TLC match? Is it going to be an I Quit match? Is it going to be a Steel Cage match? You the fans have the final say and folks. Toyota Center, coming through live from Houston, Texas, at 15,000 strong, have sold out this event, UWA claim their fame, tonight is a historical event, first ever 10th annual quick per view, and we have 10 sports events on the card here tonight, every fan that turns there has been waiting, been waiting months to find see who the new acquisition that UWA is going to be. Where that man that film has signed is gonna face the franchise player in his first foul defense here tonight. And also another milestone tonight as the first time ever in NCAA history. The last woman standing as Coco, a huge fan favorite, takes on King Game for an arch nemesis. Another one I'm Rock Chalk, and is using here to play by play. And the huge historic match is here tonight. And once again, Filmo has been in charge here tonight. The Forcer is not here. Not before the time he was injured. He got taken up by the Frankfurt player by getting put through an announce table. And therefore, he will not be in attendance here. One of the most gorgeous events that he created himself 10 years ago. Let's get things started. A little bit of mixed tag team action. Of course, last week on a 
Assault. There were two key matches with huge claims of fame implications, and both of them did not come to a solid conclusion. And tonight, we'll finally get a winner here tonight. The following contest is a tag team match. On his way to the ring, now residing under house arrest in Oakland, California, this is the Convict! Two matches, wrestling Spike and the Convict from the 300,000 dollars bounty issued by the state of California. That match was thrown out, both thanks to Mila Essex, the Convict's partner this match. So that match had to be decided at another time and date, like here at Claim to Fame right now. Of course, there's matching Mila Essex and Aaron Emney for a Pick Your Poison match, representing Coco and Pink Angel. Where the one of the matches will take a stipulation for the last woman staying at here tonight. But now we have a mixed tag team contest. Now introducing his partner from Scottsdale, Arizona. She puts sex in Essex. Mila Essex. Mila Essex representing Pink Angel. It was Aaron Emini representing Coco. And I guess since the fact that this match was a double disqualification on the last episode of Assault, now Aaron Emini and Neil Essex have formed somewhat of a rivalry. Aaron Emini told me that she's not doing this match for Coco. She wants to get a chance to injure Neil Essex here tonight. And then Spike, on the other hand, you know, he, 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 well, he well knows he's a well known bounty hunter. And he's been waiting a long time to get that $50,000 dollar bounty it was going to cash in on assault like the Mill Essex came with a skill chair grabbed a spike with the gateway shuffle the costing spike the master remember if it was a disqualification and spike wouldn't be able to get the three hundred thousand dollar bounty he has to win by pinfall submission or knockout that's the stipulation now introducing their opponents from Baltimore Maryland ladies and gentlemen this is Spike! Spike's tripping a lot here ever, ever since you know, he came back to EWA back in August. First started out as a bounty hunter for a hire, bring for second violence. That didn't go so that didn't last very long. And then he decided to work with cars by nature in order to take out the cool coalition. He did that for money like he always does. But then Mitch Waters and asked him to be a special outside enforcer for match later on tonight between the Suicidals and Mitch Lee going for the Tech Team Championships. He turned that offer down simply because Mitch Waters couldn't match the money that Spike was asking for. And that instead, he wanted to be more focused on the $300,000 bounty here tonight for the state of California. Remember, if Spike and Aaron Emmy win tonight, then Spike gets a cash in on the $300,000 on the $300,000, and Aaron Emmy gets to if she wins, then Coco is to make a stipulation for the match for the last one standing match for the time. But of course, on the other hand, if a convict and Mila Essex win, then, Mila, then Pink Angel gets to pick a stipulation for the match. And the convict is to fight another day as a free man. So match now introducing his partner from Providence, Rhode Island. By way of Memphis, Tennessee, she is the Ice Maiden. Aaron, I think Mila Essex has her work cut out here tonight, folks. She hasn't won a match since a one-way ticket, and that was back in March of this year. Where Aaron Emmy is one of the most fearless double X's in the UWA. There's absolutely nothing that she won't do to ensure a win here tonight. And honestly, in my opinion, it's a bad day to be Neil Essex. So I'm going to wait and find out. 